Seven available scholarship players today for the Huskers to Palmer with a steal. Palmer to the other end. What a senior day highlight. Palmer with the jam to bring the Huskers closer. From maybe putting this game out of reach. Nice pass down low to Whitish. What a cut and what a finish off a beautiful pass from Sam Hybee. Whitish finishes at the rack and it's a six point advantage. Fans are tuning in to watch Iverson crank one out to right field and a leaping grab at the warning track. Wow, what a grab by Polinski. Leaping up, saving surely an RBI double. Nice combo there by Stiverns and Fecky. He runs Stiverns out on that three, and Fecky then comes flying in behind for that two ball in the middle. 2-2 two -two comes in, grounded. Right to the gap between the second, first and second baseman. Drake looking to score two, here's the play at the plate. She's out. Second and 10, Martinez. Don't want to go again. Martinez for the end zone, a jump ball. Jack Stoll tries it away, touchdown. What a catch. Jack Stoll steals it away from Dakota Dixon. Oncoming Diana Santiago, the redshirt sophomore. Here comes the opportunity, it's Meg Brandt. Meg Brandt on the right foot, that's in. Huskers take the lead. Meg Brandt just punching that one in, and Nebraska again finds themselves in the lead early here at Barbara Hipner Field. And it's a good catch by Chick at the bag at third, and a great play by Gomez at first. A line ball that's a double play for Nebraska, and it gets them out of the inning unscathed. Two seconds for Nebraska. I'd be good if it goes. She connects. Are you kidding me? Holy cow and chicken. Watson on the baseline. Going reverse. Got him in the foul. Moving without the basketball, avoiding the charge. The confidence level rising as his scoring figures do the same. Miller started the first eight matches of the season for Nebraska. And then recently has seen an increased role in that back row. Serving great up there by Nebraska again, overpass and stiffering. I'm going to give credit to that point to Kenzie Maloney. He takes an aggressive first step towards the ball and is able to get a pancake. Looking to get a tilt here on Kier. He's got back points coming. Red's got Kier in trouble. Looking for the pin, and there it is. Chad Red Jr. makes quick work of Brandon Kier. Got him caught there on a tight cradle. And Chad Red is not going to let up there in positions like that. A fake to Washington. Martinez scrambles, sets his feet, got hit as he throws, down the sideline, Morgan's got it! And how about the toughness of the true freshman? Steps up, heaves it, while getting knocked down by Tyreek Smith, and then Stanley Morgan on the other end. And over to Fujado. Auto cutting back to her right, back to Brandt. Brandt with the shot and finds the back of the net. And seven minutes in to this second half, Nebraska has tied it up. That was an incredible, aggressive play by Meg Brandt right there. Put it into the back of the net for a Nebraska goal. The pitch is swung on and it's hit deep to right field. Bertrand is on the run and you can touch them all, Mojo Haggy. He homers today, he did homer in the opener on Friday, and that makes it nine to one Nebraska. Sickle 
Thomas with the delivery. This one's pulled into left. Looking up is Thomas. And off the scoreboard, that's a three-run home run for Samantha Owen. Samantha Owen had a chance to prove herself, and guess what she did? A three-run bomb, and just like that, the Huskers have a lead. Game serves. Board rises up. Maloney tries to get to it at the bench, and she does. Kenzie Maloney's been all over the place. 1-0. Cut on in the air. This should do it. Alta Villa has it, and the ball game is over. In Nebraska, the home state team will play for their first Big Ten tournament title tomorrow here in Omaha, just an hour away from their campus in Lincoln. J.D. Spielman back to receive. Spillman has some room to move across midfield. He's waiting for a block, cuts it inside. Spillman gonna give it a go. Touchdown. Well, I said he'd be an impact player, Lisa, but I was thinking as a receiver, I forgot to mention he's awful good on special teams also. Awful good blocking him. You do not want to give number 10 the ball in open space. Watson probing. Thorbjörn Yarnarsson thought about the three. Seven to shoot. Somebody's going to have to shoot. Maybe it'll be Harris driving to the rim. But I mean, Harris gives Nebraska the lead. Ten seconds to go. And a timeout Iowa. To Bear. Back to Bohannon. For the win, it's blocked by Thorbjörn Yarnarsson. And Nebraska comes from 16 down to win it.